Hey guys, so I just wanted to draw some foxes. Because I've been drawing a lot of foxes lately. And they're pretty fun to draw. So I'm going to draw some... So we'll draw three. I'll try to keep this uh, fairly quick. It's after 3 a.m., so I need to I need to get some sleep. Draw the center line and then the list little. Let's draw this circle just so I know where the nose is going to be. His long snout. Sometimes my sketches are a little too messy. Uh, let's see, what will we do for this one? straighter on maybe okay let's see what we can do with these guys all right so this line here is just just to sort of give that a, a 3D 3D feel. And this is sort of a guide. You know, all, every all these lines and the reason why I'm always like sketching these lines is because I sort of sculpt out the face. Okay, so let's do his nose here. All right, let's see. Bring his head back. Bring his mouth here. So we want to shape his head out a little bit. So, where I want his eyes to be. That's not bad. Let's see, I gotta, gotta sculpt his, his head the right way. That's not bad. I'll give him some, give him some ears back here. And 
and they have that that uh, white piece on the the bottom of their snout that goes all the way around. Eyebrows. Darken, darken his mouth line up a little bit. Give him a little, little bottom lip. Yeah, these these sketches are really fun, really fun for me. You know, I try to, I try to, I try to move quickly. And really just stay loose. It really helps a lot. I think they have like dark on their on the outside of their um the outside of their ears, I'm not sure. These are really fun, um, really fun characters. I should be doing, um, I should be doing the other ones before I start going into all that detail, but sometimes it's, it's hard, you know, I just can't help let me make these a little bigger. I like to work. Uh, I like to work big. Really have a really have, keep my canvas big. Okay, so one of them we have to do the mouth open. So we'll do the mouth open for this one. <coughs> Okay, so let's go with the shape of the head first. I think that'll help me. Oh, oh yeah, I did. I, was, I almost thought that I forgot that it, they have this little piece that tails out from their from their cheek. Okay, first things first. Let's get his nose in there. So let's All right. I'll give him a little more interesting mouth. Let's follow this line. Give him some nice ears back here. And we're going to make that mouth open. So I'm going to use, see this back here? If all this is 3D, so I'm going to use this as though this is where it's going to open. So it's as though this is a tube. You know, his mouth goes like that. And this line is the same as this line. 
this line right here. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm just going to use these as my guide. Kind of how these lines are coming off on the top, so these lines are going to come off at the bottom. Fox paws, they're always fun to draw. Their arms are so skinny. I don't really know what his hands are doing, but oh, I didn't even give him a thumb over here. That's okay. I'll give him a little thumb. His hands would be black anyway. What do I want his eyes to be doing? Um. Let's see, if his eye is going to be here. Could give him some squinty eyes. I don't know, do we like the squinty eyes? I guess we can leave the squinty eyes for now. We'll move on to the next the next fox. Just give him a little dimension here. Color him in a little so it gives that separation from the the white part of his the white part of his fur. All right, so we'll do another one. We'll do another quick one here. What if we want to do a, a fat fox? I don't think I ever did a. I don't think I ever drew a, drew a fat fox before. Get his nose in there. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure that I keep this this sphere. Not sphere, but you know, just keep this shape. Okay, so his nose is coming out here. I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep everything together with this this proportion. It's sort of a weird weird proportion. But let me move this down a little bit. Give him some space. Okay, so that's there. The other side would be here. Let's see if he... Let's 
see, where do I want the eyes? I'm gonna make the eyes here. Make the head here. Hmm. Okay, so let me do the center line. That might help me out a little bit. If I do the center line and actually draw the, the 3D shape of his head, that might help. Okay, so this would be... So what I, what I do sometimes if I get stuck is I just think of the face as... Okay, so this is... So this would be the center line. If his nose is here, this would be the center line. And it would go up between his eyes, and then it would start going back to where his head where his head is. So here where the top of that center line is, I can do this because that's where his eyes have to be. That that arc where his eyes are. And there I can bring this down. This is where that circle where the nose is. And then I do the same thing so it joins over here. So we have that like, you know, that windshield wiper type arc. And that just helps help me keep everything in place. And if I think of this as a 3D shape, then the head would be going back, you know, sort of like that. The head would be going back like this. And if his ears were back here, they'd sort of be sort of be more of a top view. Since they'd be back there pretty far. And we said he's fat, right? So how do we want So we want I guess he has to be I guess if he he'd have to be he'd have to have kind of a belly too, right? Give myself a little more space with this guy. Still give him skinny arms. I guess he just has chubby cheeks. I'm okay with that. Let me clean this up a little bit. Since we don't need all of these sketchy lines. Just make a simple one, and then we'll make we'll make that one line to where, which connects to the the white part of his. There we go. So what I did is I brought this side of the mouth down a little bit more. So let me see if I can extend where this eye is down a little bit more as well. Okay. I make some eyes that are equal.
happens if I give them some... You know, oddly... The only thing I don't like is I feel like his... I feel like that wasn't reading. His smile wasn't really reading for some reason. Oh, I think I can do these eyes better. So I'm going to end on this guy, but I'm going to do those eyes a little bit better. Make these arcs a little higher. Oh yeah, these eyes are a little bit better, better shaped. Let me erase some of this. You know, get his eyes kind of clean. Oops, clean his eyes up a little bit. Give him some interesting eyeballs. I keep him nice and rough. We'll give him a big, we'll give him a round stomach. And we'll... Make him a little happier by extending his, his cheek. which means I really have to do the same thing with this side, so. So I kind of have to change this proportion a little bit. But that's okay because that usually makes it look better. You know, when when the proportions and everything are right, it really pays to just take the time to fix it because it'll look it'll look better. Nine times out of ten, it'll look better. All right, we'll do a little bit of. We'll just give him a little bit of love on his his eyes.
All right, so yeah, there's our couple little cute fox buddies. Little chubby guy here. All right, that was fun. I'll see you guys next time.